Welcome back to another video with the Hungarian Experiment. Today we're going to talk about supplements. If you ever see in one of my day to days me taking back this shot glass full of vitamins and supplements and you wanted to know what it is, well then you found the right video because today I'm going to talk about the dosages I take, the reasons I take it, and also what vitamins and supplements I believe every human being should experiment around to get the most optimal results out of life. So I made this video a couple weeks ago and I've been trying to edit it down and it's just way too long. I put way too much information about the benefits of all these supplements. So if you guys see these supplements and you're interested in trying them out, please do the research. I'm not going to include it in this video because there's plenty of information you can find online. The only things I will talk about with these supplements is why I am taking them specifically for myself, the benefits I hope to see and the results I'm trying to get from taking these supplements. So once again, if you guys are questioning taking any of these, which I suggest you guys do, you should really experiment around with most of these vitamins and supplements I'm gonna talk about, but please make sure you do your own research, make sure you start in low dosages, and you experiment around. That way you can start to see and take into effect how your body's doing and how your body's feeling, and you can start to manipulate it. Everybody's different, no one's the same, so make sure you experiment around. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is just a regular daily multivitamin. Now I take a men's sport multivitamin, so this has a lot more green food concentrates, added antioxidants. So this isn't like your typical multivitamin that you'll find at any typical drugstore. This is a men's sport multivitamin. It's got a lot of added extra vitamins for very active people. I bought this at GNC for about $40. It's got 180 capsules in it. So if I take two a day, that's about 90 days, about three months worth of multivitamins. But I'm still messing around and experimenting with other stores and as well as online to see if I can find something as great as quality that I'm getting with this, but for a cheaper price. Now we're moving on to vitamin D. In my opinion, vitamin D is extremely important for every single person around the world. You should definitely experiment around with vitamin D, question it and do the research for yourself. The reason I take this, big reason is because I live in Canada. About six months out of the year, it's winter. I can't get outside, especially for the recommended daily amount of sunlight you need to get in the proper amount of vitamin D. I believe that's about 15 to 20 minutes of sunlight three times a week. In the winter, I'm not getting even close to this, so I'm making sure I'm taking six of these every single day. Vitamin D has a big effect on your mood. After I finished college, I got a job working in an underground gold mine for a year and a half. One of the things that I started to notice after several months with my own personality, my own mood, as well as watching the two to 300 other guys there that I watched every day, is that as the weeks creeped on, people just started to get very depressed, very sick of being there and just wanted to get out. Obviously, that has a lot to do with your personal life, family, and all those other factors. But one of the biggest things is I believe a lot of these guys' mood would have been a lot different if they experimented with vitamin D and was also supplied it by the mine. The mine there spent thousands and thousands of dollars every month on things like coffee. So just supplementing with one or two of these every day instead of getting all that caffeine in their system might give them added boost to their work ethic and their mentality. So that's one of the big reasons I take vitamin D is because of the weather, I'm not getting enough sunlight in. Now the second reason that I take vitamin D is because it has anti-aging effects. I'm gonna link up Dr. Rhonda Patrick's video right here, but I really suggest you guys go check it out for yourself because she is a lot smarter than I am. And even if I watch her video a hundred times, there's no way I'll be able to parrot exactly what she said and still keep it all in my mind. So make sure you guys go check it out. But one of the things she says is that our DNA strands have these things called telomeres on the ends, right on the ends of our, the caps of our DNA. And the way she describes it is that these telomeres are like the little hard ends of your shoelaces. They help to protect your DNA from damaging. What they found is that these telomeres are a direct correlation with how we age. So as we get older, these telomeres shorten. And what they have found is that supplementing with vitamin D reduces the amount of telomere damage that occurs. So one of the things she's spouting and she's saying there is that vitamin D can have anti-aging effects. So if you guys are looking to live longer, this might be the supplement that does it for you. 
Now the third supplement that I believe every single person should consider supplementing into their diet is fish oils. If you have any kind of physiological processes that are hindered and a doctor suggests uh, fish oils, there are a lot of ways that fish oils can naturally uh, improve your body functions. But like I said, I'm going to talk about why I take these. I take fish oils because they really help with your joints. I find that every part of my body cracks, my knees crack, my feet crack, my hips crack, my elbows crack. When I started supplementing with these, I just did the recommended from whatever I found when I was younger and it was only two of these a day. I found that after two, after doing it for a year and a half, I didn't really notice much of a difference. So I really started experimenting around. I started upping my dosage. I managed to get all the way up to eight every single day after listening to the Joe Rogan Experience podcast and I found out how much fish oils Joe Rogan gets into his system. So I really wanted to start experimenting around and seeing how it affects my body. Even though I went all the way up to eight, the effects didn't change past six. So after experimenting around for about a year and a half with fish oils, I found right around six fish oils every day is perfect for me. Like I said, you guys need to make sure you do your own research with this. But as you can see here, these are two different fish oils bought from the same place. I bought these at Costco. One is 100% fish oil blend. The other is 100% wild Alaskan salmon oil. As you can see, the EPA and DHA levels there are extremely different. Now, if you're just taking fish oils to get the most optimal results out of life and out of the gym, then you don't need to worry too, too much about the EPA and DHA. But like I said there earlier, if you have any physiological processes that are going wrong with your body, fish oils can really help to dial in and fix that. But you need to be very concerned and considerate about the EPA and DHA levels. That is really is what's going to help affect your body. So another one of the reasons I take fish oils is because of the cognitive benefits. Go do the research for yourself. I've done plenty of research in the past, but fish oils help very well with your cognitive abilities, help you think better, make things smoother. So all of those three products there is what I take in my shot glass. Two multivitamins, six fish oils, and six vitamin Ds. As I said earlier, I don't suggest everyone start out like this. Start out at a low supplement level, dial yourself up, then dial yourself back down. Figure out what's the most optimal ranges for your body. So now that we talked about the vitamins and supplements that I believe every person should consider taking in life, now let's talk about the supplements that I think people should consider when they're being extremely physically active or they're looking to put on strength or muscle. The first and most important supplement if you want to put on strength or size is protein. Unfortunately, I don't have a protein tub with me right now. I've ran out of my protein last night. But if you're not getting the optimal amount of protein in your diet, then you need to supplement protein. I suggest as well as many other people on the internet, they say about a gram to a gram and a half of protein per body weight. So right now this morning I woke up at 162. If I wanna keep and maintain my muscle, I wanna shoot for about 162 grams of protein every single day. Now for my life and the way I live my life, I like to shoot beyond that. I'm trying to get the most optimal results. So for myself, I try to shoot for what I want to be in the future. I wanna be around 180 to 200 pounds of solid muscle. So. That's the protein ranges I shoot for, 180 to 200. Now, I don't get these every single day, but I try. That's the important thing, is you're trying, and you're making sure you get into those ranges as much as you can. Now, for myself, I'm a young guy. I don't have an amazing job. I'm not making thousands and thousands of dollars every year. So I have to consider that into my life. I can't be eating steaks and chicken breasts and some of the best top meats every day. So I have to supplement my body with protein. I'm still trying to mess around with different types of protein sources. I really want to experiment around with hemp protein powder, but it is just way too expensive for myself to afford right now. So the next thing that I think you should consider, especially if you're looking to put on muscle, is creatine. I like to take things right down to the basics. When I'm considering supplementing my body with something, I look at what foods is this supplement coming from. You get creatine in your body from eating raw meat and fish. So basically, the way I look at creatine is a supplement for meat. What it does, it hydrates your cells, allows you to put more effort into the gym, keeps your uh, muscles hydrated so you can work harder and work longer. 
I just looked up something really quick about creatine here, and it says one would have to ingest 500 grams of raw meat or fish to get the most optimal amounts of creatine into the body. It says here, vegetarians and vegans do not get creatine from any other food source. So if you are a vegan, and especially if you're trying to get optimal results out of the gym, you have to consider supplementing this in your diet. And especially a lot more than I would supplement my diet with because I eat steaks regularly. I eat fish once to twice a week. So I'm already getting a lot of creatine in my diet and on top of that, I'm supplementing it. So you have to consider what you're putting into your diet as well as what you're supplementing your diet with. All I do is I take one scoop of this every single day, five grams. I've been doing that for about the last year and a half. As a teenager, when I started learning about creatine, I did the whole cycling, but to be honest, I didn't really feel any results, any real differences from cycling on and off of it. So. Over the last year and a half to two years, I've just been taking five grams of this every single day. But if you guys would like to see what happens to the human body when you cycle creatine, I will do that as an experiment if you guys like. Just please leave a comment and let me know so I can decide if I need to do this. And last but not least, pre-workout. I don't suggest every single person take pre-workout. To be honest, I really don't think you need it. There's many different ways to get your mind and your body prepped for the gym and how you do it is up to you. If you follow along my journey as the Hungarian experiment, then you know I go to the gym after being fasted for about 14 to 16 hours. So I have absolutely no food in my stomach and I usually go about an hour to an hour and a half after waking up and I don't eat anything. So I need something to get me going, to put my head into a different mind state and really get some stuff flowing through my veins and get my body going in the morning. So in my opinion, I believe I need this to get me going. If you're doing a pre-workout meal and then you have a scoop of this, your body's not going to absorb it as well as my body's going to on a totally empty stomach. You're not getting the most optimal results as you can and you could be getting from your pre-workouts. So it's up to you guys. You can, you can drink a coffee and if that's what gets you into the mind state to get into the gym, then perfect. If you go check out Cali Muscle, he just takes some Pepsi or Diet Pepsi, I'm not too sure what it is, and he mixes it with instant coffee. He mixes that up, he calls it hyphy mud, and then he just chugs the back, and that's what gets him going. Perfect. If that's what works for you, then that's what works for you. For myself, I find C4 works the best. I have tried other pre-workouts in the past. I have found that C4 is the best and mixes the best and tastes the best. So if more pre-workouts come my way, I'm definitely going to try them out and experiment around with them. And if you guys follow along my journey and my day to days, you will see me reviewing and giving updates on these new pre-workouts I get and I try. Well, that's it for all the supplements I take. As you saw there, all those supplements and vitamins are just replacements for food. There's nothing I'm taking. I'm not taking testosterone boosters or fat burners or anything like that. Besides my pre-workout, all these things are found naturally in food. I'm just doing it to get the most optimal results out of my life by boosting the amounts that I'm getting to my body. So if you guys like what you saw here, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because in a couple more months, I'm going to come out with a new supplements video where I'm going to update the dosages I'm taking and uh, see where I'm, what I'm experimenting around with and what I might change to my diet and to my supplements. I am the Hungarian Experiment. Make sure you go down and hit that like button.